Hello and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. Channel. Channery. Channery. Welcome to my new YouTube channel and my first video. Oh, I decided for my first video, I'm going to do a book review slash book talk. I don't know of one of my favorite series, The Lunar Chronicles. <laughs> so if you've never read The Lunar Chronicles, don't worry, you're safe for like the first two minutes. I'll tell you when to dash off when I get into the spoiler part of things, but you're safe for now. Okay, so The Lunar Chronicles is a four book series and then there's one more that's kind of a before the series prequel but it's four books that tell the same story. Um, they're futuristic retellings of famous fairy tales. And there's four. Each one is a different girl in a different fairy tale. So like for Cinder, that's the first book in the series. She is Cinderella. <laughs> so Cinder is a cyborg and a mechanic. Okay, so if you don't know what cyborg means, because I didn't, it's, you've got like metal. She has a metal arm and a metal foot because she was in an accident when she was younger, and to save her life, they had to give her some wires. I don't know, maybe you're smarter than me and know what cyborg means. I didn't know. <laughs> so she's a mechanic also. She's the best mechanic in all of New Beijing, even though she's only 16. <laughs> so she's bad A from the beginning, and I love her. <sighs> okay, so one day while she's working, she meets a the prince of New Beijing, Kai, <laughs> so cute, and meeting him kind of pulls her into a lot of events, awesome events. Um, there's two main conflicts in this series. One is, they're kind of connected, but one is there's a plague ravaging the earth. If you get it, you die. There's no hope for you. There's no cure. Or is there? Ah! There's no cure. And two, there's another country on the moon now, Luna, that's ruled by this evil like queen of the bee witches the bee witches <laughs> get it um and she wants to destroy earth and take it for herself so that's another conflict oh lunars people that live on the moon they have a special power called glamour they can change their appearance or they can make you do things they can control you with their minds it's cool so those are the conflicts that over the series are is dealing with. <laughs> um, it's four books. It takes so long to deal with these conflicts. But so good. Ah, oh, so good. So I definitely recommend that you read these books. Read them now. Okay. So if you haven't read these series, bye. Leave because I'm going to discuss all of the magic <laughs> in. Cinder, Cress, Scarlet, and Fairest. Winter is going to get its own video because winter is the finale and it's all kinds of amazing and it deserves its own video. So that'll be coming later. I don't know when. Okay. Yes. Non-readers. Well, yes. <laughs> non-readers. Go. Bye. I love you. Read the series, then come back. Okay. Are you gone? Are you gone? You're gone. Okay. Okay. First book. There it is. Cinder! <gasps> Cinderella. Cinder Cinderella. Look at these. I got these to so we can discuss all of the best scenes. Okay, the first one is the outbreak of the plague in Cinder's marketplace. I think it, it's the, the baker's woman, Sunto's mom. When she got sick, I was, I was like, yes, because she had just been like being shady towards Cinder, like, yo, boy, don't, my little son, don't go over her, you're gonna get her cyborgness, you're gonna grow metal arms if you're by her. So she got sick, and I was like, yes, payback! That was good. Then, of course, Cinder meets Kai. <laughs> One of the best parts of the entire book, because it's so cute! <gasps> it's like instant OTP, instant ship. My record's done. I was listening to Elvis. Um... Yes, instant ship with them because they're so cute and so funny. And Kai is just a little teddy bear. <laughs> so, yeah, that's good. It's good stuff. Good stuff. I also love how she hits his Android on the table. Like, I'll fix it. I'm the best mechanic ever. Smash. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Oh, we meet Peony. 
we meet Cinder's messed up family, her evil mother and Pearl, and I hate them. <laughs> and then you meet Peony, and it's all good. Because I love when Cinder retellings have one of the sisters be nice, because that's happened in a few different retellings. And I was so happy when I met Peony. I was like, yay, your life doesn't totally suck. Oh, and Aiko. Aiko makes her life totally not, not totally suck, because Aiko is so sassy and so good. But then they decide to go to the scrapyard and look for a car. I don't, or not a car. What were they looking for? They found a car. They were looking for parts. And I don't know, I guess that's where Peony caught the disease. I don't really know. But... And she gets the plague, and all my dreams are dashed because I had so much hope for Peony and Cinder to be the cute sister BFFs, and now Peony's gonna die! And then I got scared because, oh my gosh, now Cinder's gonna catch it and she's gonna die. Hmm. And then they go home, and Audrey turns Cinder in for a volunteer for the Lemosis testing! <laughs> I hated her even more. I didn't think you could hate Audrey even more until she did that. <laughs> so she goes, she meets Dr. Erland, Erland, I don't know, Erland, I say Erland. And he infuses her with the poison. I'm like, excuse me, sir, who do you think you are? Except for then she survives, so it's all okay. She finds out she's lunar and it's great stuff. She sees Kai, like, three more times and that's great because they're all flirty and he's like go to the bar with me babe but she won't and I'm so mad at her and then Lavana comes to town Eva Lavana I can't actually I can't decide if I hate Lavana or Audrey more I think I almost hate Audrey more than Lavana anyway she comes to town and Dr. Erlan that's when he finally tells her she's lunar and that she needs to stay the heck away but of course Cinder can't stay away from her love Kai and her duty to give him Nancy back oh, Cinder I love you but you're dumb and so she goes back Lavana sees her she knows she's lunar and she throws a big fit like yo give my girl back to me but they can't find her all good stuff oh Dr. Lavana brings some uh, some cure some cure bottle of cure <laughs> for letimosis <laughs> she takes it to peony and she's two seconds too late ah oh, it's not fair why does this book do this <laughs> then she gives it to the little boy sunto it's okay i liked him oh except for then she, when she removed her id chip with the scalpel oh i hate that word scalpel <laughs> <sighs> Now Peony's dead. My life sucks. Cinder's life sucks, not mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know when, I can't remember when she finds out she's actually, never mind, that's at the end. Cinder takes Peony's ball gown and goes to the ball to warn Kai that Lavanda's gonna kill him after she meets Cress. Oh, <gasps> Cress, I love Cress. Cress is my, Cress is my girl. Cress connect so much with Chris. But yeah, she goes to the ball in Peony's dress. So cute. To warn Kai, she makes a big spectacle of herself. Cinder. So cute. I love her. And then uh, she uses her glamour on accident, her lunar glamour. Kai gets freaked out and he's like, away from me. Away from me. Her foot falls off. Kai keeps it because he still likes her. <laughs> Look at my glitter pen. Uh, Lavana realizes who she is, even though Cinder doesn't know who she is, which is Princess Celine. <laughs> she gets arrested. Cinder's arrested. She's in jail. Erlon brings her a new arm <laughs> with all sorts of awesome things in her fingers. And he tells her that she's actually Princess Celine, the rightful heir to the lunar throne and evil Queen Lavana's niece. And the book ends. Bookends. The bookends. So yeah, Cinder, 10 out of 10. So good. Am I right, Lunardix? Am I right? I'm right. Yeah. Okay, so the next book in the series is I don't even want to do this. Scarlet! <laughs> I don't have Scarlet because TBH, I didn't like Scarlet the book that much. Or Scarlet the character. Um, so I didn't buy it because I don't have Lots of money, so it's like, I'm not gonna buy Scarlet. So I'll buy it eventually, but I haven't yet. I actually haven't even read Scarlet. I listened to it on YouTube, on like an audiobook on YouTube. 
when I was sick one day. I listened to the whole like eight hours in one day. Yeah, I say I don't like it, but I listened to it in one day. I liked it, not enough to buy it. But anyway, so you meet Scarlet, the second fairy tale character, Little Red Riding Hood. Of course, that means wolf. <laughs> wolf is even more teddy bear adorable than Kai, which doesn't make sense because Wolf's a killing machine, but he's still my teddy bear. Scarlet is a farmer. She works on a farm because she's a farmer with her grandma. Her grandma is missing. Scarlet thinks she's been kidnapped, but the detectives are like, she killed herself. We're not looking for her anymore. So Scarlet, being the annoying, stubborn girl she is, throws a fit and decides to go find her. I mean, I say that. I'd go, I'd go find my grandma too, but that Scarlet just annoys me. I'm sorry. I like her in the other books, not this one. Um, she meets Wolf, eating all the food, eating all the tomatoes. <laughs> um, the tomato thing is so cute with them. I love it. And then Wolf, she sees Wolf, like, kill, almost kill somebody during a street fight. So she's freaked out of him. Then she loves him. Then she freaked out of him. Then she loves him. Then he loves her. Then he's evil. Then he loves her. Then he's evil. Then he kills her grandma. Then he loves her again. Wait, he doesn't kill her grandma. I don't remember who kill her. Kill I don't remember who kills her grandma. Is it actually Wolf or is it Ryu? Ryu. Ryu. Wolf's brother. Ryu. I don't like him. He was annoying. Or wait, Ran. That was his name. Ryu is Winter's Wolf. Ran. <laughs> Ryu's dead. Okay. So yeah, I'm not even going to talk much about Scarlet because I don't know it as well as the other books. I mean, it's, it's good. It's worth reading because the series is incredible. I guess you guys have already read it, so you know that it's worth reading because the series is incredible. But yeah, that's my opinion on Scarlet. Well, it, basically, the whole book is Scarlet and Wolf going back and forth between loving each other and Wolf being evil and Scarlet being stubborn. Every And I just, I sat there wishing, like, come on, what's, where's Cinder and Thorn? Come on, I want to know about Cinder. <laughs> oh yeah, Thorn, you mean Thorn in this book. I love Thorn. Thorn, Thorn and Cinder escape together. Bro TP, not OTP. Anybody that ships Cinder and Thorn has problems. But they're adorable as friends. I love Thorn. I want to marry Thorn. I want to, I want to be Crest so I can marry Thorn because he's so amazing. Even though he's a criminal, I'd never marry a criminal in real life. But in fairy tale book world, I'll marry Thorn. So anyway, Scarlet, it's good. I read it. It's okay. I'll buy it eventually. Not now because. Nah. Next is Crest, my favorite book in the series. Because where is it? Here it is. I love Cress. Cress is my baby. and I'm... I love this book. After Scarlet, I was a little worried to be H. I was like, okay, I don't care about Scarlet. Is, are, are all the characters going to suck? <laughs> well, not all. Scarlet's the only one that I don't like. But then Cress. Right when they introduced Cress, I knew she was my, my home girl. My spirit animal. She's so cute and so dramatic. I don't know, I don't know if dramatic is the right word. Dramatic, I guess. She, she's, I'm an actor. <laughs> and her crazy hair. And she's in love with Carswell Thorne, just like me. I love that she is in love with Thorne and has never met him. She's like a fangirl just like us, you know? That's, I think, why we all relate to her, her and Iko so well, because they're, they're fangirls. And so are we. We all love Thorne. Crest loves Thorn. <laughs> so Crest lives on a satellite. She's an expert hacker, which is even more adorable because she's this tiny little ah, girl, but she can bring down the world with computers. She's so cool. <laughs> and then she connects with Cinder and Scarlet and Wolf and Thorn, that crew, and Echo. Echo's the ship. Wait, no, Echo's not the. Oh, Echo's not the ship yet. Echo's still a. Aiko's still a personality chip, isn't she? Yeah. No, she's in the ship now. She is in the ship now. Darla is the one that's... Never mind. Aiko's in the ship. So she connects with them, and they decide to go rescue her from Sybil, the evil thaumaturge, in her satellite. And it goes bad, of course. Can't be easy. In a book this long, it can't just happen. Um, Thorn goes in to rescue her, <laughs> and Sybil finds them, so she sets the satellites careening off to Earth, 
And Thorn goes blind because he hits his head, of course. Can't be easy again in this book. My camera's gonna fall. And Scarlet gets captured. We trade Scarlet for Jason Clay. And of course, Wolf is gonna go ballistic for the rest of the book. Scarlet is his alpha. <sighs> So yeah, the book just gets 20 times more complicated. Thanks, Crest. Still love you, but thanks. So Thorn and Crest are in the desert. They're trying to find civilization, but of course Crest never been to Earth. Thorn is blind. How's this gonna work out? It works out well. They bond. <laughs> so cute. So eventually, after many days of bonding and being adorable, Crest and Thorn find their way to some people who take them to civilization, who end up kidnapping Chris so they can sell her to Dr. Erlon. Dr. Erlon, her dad. Oh yeah, Dr. Erlon's lunar, I never mentioned that. But you guys know that, because you've read the books. And then they're all reunited, and it's so good, and so happy. Except for Scarlet, she's still in Luna, getting her fingers chopped off by Lavana. Um... Yeah, Thorn and Cress. Uh, Cress loves Thorn. Thorn won't admit his love yet. <sighs> and that's upsetting for me. I'm just like, love her from the beginning. Love her. <laughs> so they decide they've defeated a bunch of thaumaturges. They're ready to go to Luna and revolutionize the world. Wait, no. First they have to get Kai. <laughs> they go to the palace. Kai and... Lavana's wedding, the Cress hacks the entire system, makes the wedding put on hold, puts the wedding on hold, and then they kidnap Kai, and they're all together, except for Scarlet, and it's so good, but then they have to escape, and Jason Clay, bless, bless his heart, bless him, I don't like him right now, but bless him, because he's cute, um, he turns in, and so Sybil and a bunch of thaumaturges and guards are not, yes, are waiting for them on the roof, Big old battle ensues. And Chris kisses Thorn. <laughs> when they kiss, I was just like, <gasps> I lose my kids! Woo! Finally, Thorn didn't exactly admit his love at all, but he kissed her. He kept his promise to her! <laughs> So yeah, they escape because they're awesome and Sybil dies. Yes. I love when Sybil died. I was like, that's what you get for tormenting my perfect cinnamon roll caress. <sighs> Books the book ends. Almost ends. They're back on the ship. You get a glimpse into the ship life. Oh, Dr. Erlon made potion for Thorne's eyes to fix him and his blindness, but he also dies because he has letamosis. So we're back on the ship, Thorn and Cress. Cress is giving Thorn his eye drops. He comforts her when she cries because she found out Dr. Erlon was her dad. And they're so cute. <laughs> it just, it's when you start, I think that's kind of when you see that Thorn does kind of have feelings for Cress. He is there for her. I can't remember what else he does, but he does some. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna look. That's when I kind of thought, okay, Thorn actually does kind of like her, I think. I think we have hope. I think the Creswell ship has hope. <laughs> and then Kai and Cinder, Kai's like, you're not manipulating me, are you? And she's like, no, I would never manipulate you. And he's like, good. <laughs> and they kiss and it's like, this is what I've been waiting for. <sighs> So yeah, that's Cress. Cress is incredible. Best book of the series, in my opinion. Winter is close. Winter is very close, but Cress, Cress was incredible. Yeah. It's getting way too long. My last book review of the series is Fairest. I don't have this one either. I listened to this one also. I don't have money, so I'm not buying Lavana's story. I don't want to encourage Lavana. I hate her. But Ferris is the story of Lavana. Before she was queen, and before she was evil, basically, actually. She was actually an okay person at first. It's so weird, huh? She's in love with Everett, the lunar guard. So, but he's married. He's married. And her sister, Channery, is the queen because her parents are killed. Channery is Cinder's mom. Everett's wife dies, so she forces him to marry her. And they're married for like 15 years. Cherry has Celine. Send her. Cherry dies. Everett won't love Lavana. So she gets angry. She's always just angry. Love me, Everett. 
I get angry too. I'm just kind of like, Everett, just love her. Just love her. I feel bad for her, but also she's crazy. So Lavana becomes the queen in waiting, I guess. I don't know. Queen, queen regent? Is that what she's called? Until Cinder is old enough. Winter is also born. Everett and Solstice is child. Solstice is dead. That's Everett's wife. Um, Winter is so cute. I didn't talk about Winter and Cress, but she was in there and I she's so cute. Ah, she's my other baby spirit child. But anyway, so the power goes to Lavana's head. She is completely evil now, so she decides to kill Celine so she can stay queen forever. You go, girl. No, not really. You don't go, girl. So she tries to burn Cinder up. She thinks she succeeded. She hasn't. Um, and then she decides she can't stop there. She doesn't just want Luna to herself. She wants Earth, too. She says she wants it for her people, but she don't care about nobody but herself and Everett. But she kills Everett. She knows that if she wants Earth, she's got to marry somebody in power on Earth, so she decides to pick. I think she picks Kai's dad. I don't think she picks Kai at first, but Kai is eventually who she decides she's going to snatch for the marriage. Snatch the power. So she decides to kill Everett. This scene was so sad because Lavana was actually heartbroken when she killed Everett. She loved him, she did, but it was a crazy kind of love because. She was willing to kill him. She loved power more. But yeah, that was a nice little insight into Lavana's life. It didn't exactly make me feel set sorry for her. I sort of understood her. I mean, not really. She's still crazy, but it was good to see her side of the story. But yeah. Alright, that is it. There is winter, but that's getting its own video, as I said before. So thank you for watching my video, my fellow Lunartic fans. Lunatics, uh, come back for winter. If you're here from my Instagram at Lunar Chronicles, one word, Lunar Chronicles, go follow me if you're not here from there. But if you are, hi, <laughs> hi, I love you guys all. There's 475 of you as of now. 475 of my lovely lunatic followers. I love you guys. You're awesome. Thank you for watching this. You're all my favorites. You're my favorites because you actually watched this. So anyway, thank you for watching my video. If you want to see another book review, you can comment bo down below. I'm, maybe I've read it, maybe I haven't, maybe I have and I'll do a book review. Or comment anything, any type of video that you want me to do. I can do makeup? I don't do makeup. <laughs> I can do anything. I, don't, I haven't really decided what this channel is going to be for yet, so... I don't know. Comment down below. Read the Luna Chronicles again, because it's amazing. Okay. Bye. Okay, I'm not actually done. If you're here from my Instagram, I want to know how many of you actually watched this video. Because I'm just curious. I'm not being weird. I just want to know how many of you watched this video. So if you're here from my Instagram and you've made it this far, comment the palm tree it's a palm tree. Palm tree emoji on my post about this video so I can see how many of you guys watched it and maybe I'll follow you and give you a like spam. If you're here from just this video and you want to go follow my Instagram, then you can comment this face on my poster. Do that. That emoji. You know, the happy one that's like, I'm so happy to be here. Comment that emoji and I'll know you're a new follower and I'll follow and spam you too. Cool, okay, bye for real, I'm done. See ya, comment down below what you want me to do. Bye, bye, it's me again. I know I said I was done, I lied. So I went in to edit this, edit this video and I realized I filmed it the completely wrong way. I didn't film it landscape, I filmed it selfie mode. I'm on my phone, so. But I tried to redo the video so that it wouldn't have the annoying black bars, but I, I couldn't do it, I couldn't, I couldn't redo it. So you get, sorry you had to sit through the black bars, but I'll never do it again. Okay, I'm done, I, I promise I'm done. Bye.